Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Natalia and I'm honestly so freaking excited that I'm finally filming this video. If you guys couldn't tell by the title or by my face, <laughs> I did just get lip injections and I just want to leave a very heavy disclaimer before people start saying things in the comments or anyone starts coming with their opinions. Listen, this is something that I've wanted for almost three years now it's gonna be three years that I've been doing YouTube and as you do YouTube and you edit your videos and you start watching yourself back a lot there are things that you notice about yourself that you may want to change if you don't want to change anything and you're perfectly happy with your body then 100,000 billion trillion whatever kudos to you to get to that point or to already be at that point is beautiful and for me personally i would watch myself back a lot and there were two things that i always wanted to fix and those were my lips and my teeth i'm already fixing my teeth if you guys don't know then i am currently using invisalign so my teeth have gotten a hell of a lot straighter and i'm so happy with how they're turning out and that took me to the next thing that I wanted to fix about myself, which were my lips. Now, people might be like, what the hell? Your lips were fine, blah, blah, blah. But like I said, watching yourself back a lot and then doing makeup, which is what my channel started out as, doing makeup, and, and I do makeup all the time, like whenever I'm going out, if I'm just bored at home, whatever. I would notice that whenever I applied, especially applying a dark lip color, that the outside part of my lip on the left side like right here was like lower than this side so this side would be and i have this nail broken so i'm not trying to like use this hand <laughs> this side of my lip was more lifted and so when i was applying lip liner when i was applying lip color that line and that trail there to my cupid's bow was perfect and when I would go to do this side, I would always have to line on the outside part of my lips. Uh, and if I'm wearing a really dark color, if I'm wearing a burgundy or I'm wearing a red, it would never look right and it would bother me so much. Especially if I'm taking pictures and everyone wants that like super sultry pout, you know, like the... Whenever I would try and do that, like my, my lips would look kind of crazy to me. I don't really feel the need to sit here and try and convince anyone about why I wanted to do something to my body. It's my body, it's my decision, it's my money, and that's pretty much how I feel about it. If there's anything that you want to do to your body that's going to make you feel happier about yourself, then 100% go for it. Like, no one can tell you shit. And you should be able to do whatever you feel you need to do in order to feel happier about yourself. So that's where I was coming from and that's why I wanted to get my lips done. And I have to say, I'm extremely happy with the result. Now, I'll tell you guys everything, but I was like, I was so freaking scared. Like, I, I, I was just scared because I didn't know how they were gonna look. There was one doctor that I had been following for like two years now. If you guys watch Beauty by Rosita here on YouTube, uh, she posted when she got her lips done and the doctor that she went to and she listed like her Instagram or whatever. And so I went and followed because like I said, I've been wanting to do my lips for forever. I had been following Dr. Gersman on Instagram for a very long time and watching her post her work and all the clients that she had and every day I would be like damn like I just want to go and just do it and you know get it over with like I know I would be happier with myself and I really really wanted to get it done now it was not cheap <laughs> but because I wanted a good job I wanted to walk out of there and be like I know I made the right decision. So I went ahead and I made my appointment at Dr. Gersman's office. Now, Dr. Gersman has uh, someone else who also does lip injections there. Her name is Amelia and she's the one who did my lip injections. She was the sweetest freaking thing. Like, I honestly, uh, she was such a doll. She made me feel super comfortable. And like, when I tell you that this did not hurt at all, like, I, I don't think of myself as someone with like a high tolerance for pain, 
but this did not hurt at all. I have tattoos that I feel like hurt worse. I've gotten, you know, Brazilian waxes and I think that hurts worse. Obviously, you are numb, but everything I was reading and everything I was seeing, like some people said that it was really painful for them, even with the numbing. I was really nervous, but I went in, I filled out all of the paperwork, and we went into the office my one of my beautiful best friends was with me and she was there you know for my moral support first thing she did was held a mirror just like this <laughs> she held a mirror to my face and she was like tell me so i let her know like that i was unhappy with the side of my lips and i really wanted it lifted and then a little bit more of a pout but I mainly wanted my lips to be evened out. And I knew I wasn't crazy because she pointed it out to me. She was like, yes, I see what you're talking about. We can do this. She told me that she would have to insert the injections more coming down this way. So I got a little bit more Juvederm on this side than on this side because this is the side that needed to be brought up. So she explained very thoroughly what she was going to do. And then uh, she asked me how I feel about pain. When I'm already scared, that was the worst question <laughs> she could have asked. So she asked me how I feel about pain, and I told her, like, you know, I have tattoos, whatever, so I kind of have, I guess, somewhat of a tolerance, and she was like, no, 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 this is gonna be different because it's literally a needle going inside. And I was like, okay, well, what do you think we can do to stop the pain? And so she put a numbing cream on my lips, and then she also inserted a numbing gel into my gums. So she put some here in my gums, here, up here and up here and she told me from the beginning she was like I think we should do the gel honestly like it's gonna make such a difference like it really really helps so I was like girl do whatever you want to do because I do not want to feel this he uh, put the numbing gel in it was really only a pinch it wasn't bad at all it's like when you go to the dentist and they insert the gel before you get a cleaning or before whatever uh, so she did that and then she gave me one milliliter of Juvederm now, Juvederm is the type of filler that we went with. Juvederm, from what I understand, is better for uh, that sexier, pouty look, if you're looking for that. And then, of course, that's also what she used to help lift this side of my mouth. She inserted everything, like, super quick. It, it didn't even feel like it was that long, although technically it must have been, like, 30 to 35 minutes, and maybe even longer than that. She did all of that, and then, uh, pretty much we were done like it was super super simple. I am extremely happy with the way that they look Oh my god <laughs> I love that. Thank you. You can totally tell the difference here. Yeah. Okay, don't get my nail It's beautiful. Oh my god uh, I didn't want to make a video without talking to you guys about getting my lips done uh, I didn't know if anyone would notice when I went like back to work the next day some people didn't even notice of course you know it's not gonna be night and day because it's only one milliliter people like Kylie Jenner or other influencers that you see with their lips like really pouty they're they've gone back several times to get more syringes and so that's how they're able to get that powder look now in terms of recovery recovery uh, it's still ongoing. Uh, they say that it takes about one to two weeks to be fully healed. They were super swollen. I had to use an ice pack to ice them down. Uh, but by the next day, majority of the swelling had gone down. I'm not gonna lie, I did like how they looked when they were swollen, but for that look, I would have to go back, obviously, and get another syringe. She told me that they were gonna go down about 20 to 30%, and so this is what where they are now. Uh, it's about three or four days later. I I don't even know like three or four days later I did get a little bit of like itchiness around here Around my mouth not like on my lips, but more around and then bruising Bruising was not bad. I actually am also going to insert clips of my lips like the next day or whatever uh, I got a little bit of bruising like on the out part outer parts here on my lips which obviously now since I'm wearing lip color you can't see and even when I'm not wearing lip color it doesn't really look bad. I also want to show you guys the photo that Dr. Gersman posted on her Instagram of me getting my lips done or my lips already done. You can see the top photo and then 
the bottom photo, you see exactly how they looked when they were done. So like I said, most of the swelling has gone down. They say it takes about three to five days for your lips to sort of adhere. I did experience a little bit of soreness, or the, the next day there was a lot of soreness. My lips were kind of hard, which she told me would happen because they, they were still swollen. And I couldn't like go like this with my lips, which... Ugh, it, I was someone who would do that a lot apparently and not even really realize it. I guess it was subconsciously, but it hurt like hell whenever I would try because my lips were still so sore. And even there was one point where like my nose itched and I like went like that with my mouth to try and, you know, fight the itch and that hurt like a mother effer. <laughs> now, I do have to say that I'm super happy with them. They are a little dry still mm. like I mm. do have the dead skin that I can like pluck off which is kind of gross but yeah I guess because I was watching what I was putting on my lips uh, it, it just dried up obviously and so now I'm at the phase where I'm just trying to fight you know all of the dry skin and get them nice and smooth so that I can wear any lip color I want so that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions or anything let me know I am filming like a vlog next because you guys have asked me so many times to start filming vlogs and so i want to you know bring you guys into my life just a little bit closer and so if you have any questions make sure that you leave them down below and i'll get them answered make sure you follow me on instagram and on twitter and on snapchat and everything even though i don't really use snapchat I don't know, I'm, I use Instagram stories more now, but follow me there too so that you guys can see when I jump into crazy crap like this, like when I randomly get drunk tattoos or when I get my lips done, whatever it is, I'm going on vacation in a few, so you guys don't want to miss that. Make sure that you follow me there. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much. Bye.